everyone, what's up and welcome back to a new What I Eat In A Day. Today's What I Eat In A Day has a lot of good recipes in it. I planned it out and I'm really excited for everything. Today's What I Eat In A Day is gonna be really good. I started off very slow. Also, sorry if you hear my dryer running, I need to dry some clothes for after I get out of the shower. But I woke up late today, it's a Sunday, so I'm having like a relaxing Sunday. Honestly, when I woke up, I was not hungry or like very hungry, so I just had my coffee. I edited on my laptop for a little bit, and then I went on a walk. I like to go on a daily walk. I went for my daily run because I'm doing a running challenge that'll be up in a couple weeks. And then I did some strength training. As you can see, my face is very red, mostly from the run because I do not have the endurance I once did. Let me just say that, but we're trying to get it back. Uh, before I take a shower though, I wanted to thank today's video sponsor. You guys saw on my walk, I did have a Built Bar. I love Built Bar so much. Today I had the mint brownie one, which I think is one of my all time favorite ones. The mint brownie and the double chocolate are probably my top picks. They taste and have the texture of like one of those super thick brownies. Like you know when you take a bite in a really thick brownie and it shows like your teeth marks because it's so decadent and rich that's what those two flavors taste like to me but if you're not a super chocolatey person honestly i'm not a chocolate person in anything else but built bars but if you want something a little bit lighter they also have a lot of fruity flavors like coconut almonds the one that i really like is raspberry every single built bar if you guys saw in the little clips that i showed has a chocolate coating on the outside get that chocolate coating on every one sometimes they do limited edition like white chocolate ones they also have built bar puffs which are like a marshmallow and i think the best part about these is that they have really good mac Grows. They're really high in protein, but low in calorie, and they taste delicious. Like this one, for instance, is the coconut almond. There's 18 grams of protein and 180 calories. Like that's a really good ratio. They give me energy to get through my days. So I know a ton of you guys have already used my link, but all you have to do is click the link in my description box, and it'll take you right to Built Bar's website. I always recommend to people to get the mix box to try out a bunch of different flavors first. But if you're not about that, just get one specific flavor that you really think you'd enjoy. And they're always coming out with fun limited edition flavors and like cool different flavors that I've never seen in protein bars before. Yeah, thank you to Built Bar for sponsoring today's video. All you guys have to do is click the link in the description box and it'll apply a discount to your order. People think I have a discount code, but it's just a link. All you have to do is just click the link and it will be applied to your order. Thank you guys so much for always using my link. I really appreciate it. You guys love Built Bars just as much as I do and it makes me so happy. Yeah, I'm going to hop in the shower, probably wash my hair, and then come out and make my first meal of the day. Anything that includes sourdough toast, I am here for so I'm really <laughs> looking forward to getting out of the shower and being able to eat that Hello everyone, I'm fresh out of the shower and I'm pretty hungry at this point So I'm getting started on this breakfast or like meal one of the day right away. So my hair is just soaking wet. I literally just hopped out of the shower. For breakfast today, we're making an, what is it called? An egg salad toast, but with avocado. So we're doing one hard boiled egg, like half of an avocado. We're gonna mash all of that together into like a paste, add a little bit of light mayo, and then seasonings. I think that's everything. I'm gonna have to check my notes to make sure. I wrote this down a couple of days ago, so I just wanna make sure there wasn't anything else added into like the mash. Maybe a little bit of garlic, and obviously, like I said, seasonings and stuff. And then we're just gonna put that on some toast and enjoy. Very simple first meal. I'm probably gonna have my second meal pretty quickly after I have my first, since it is, like I said, a little bit later in the day, and I don't wanna have dinner so late. Keeping it light for the breakfast slash meal one and meal two and then dinner's gonna be a little bit heavier of a meal i'm so excited for dinner it's nothing crazy but it's just like what i'm really craving right now i feel like it's the perfect end of summer meal yeah, i'm just waiting for this pot of water to boil and then we'll just add an egg in there and go from there just in case you guys were curious on the brands that i'm using and the seasonings for the hot sauce this is my new favorite hot sauce it's the texas pea i think this is so good and then i'm also going to use this hellman's light mayonnaise this tastes exactly like the regular mayonnaise to me i really don't notice a difference and then as for seasonings i'm doing mostly the same stuff but switching it up slightly salt and pepper garlic powder parsley on top and then i'm also gonna add into the avocado egg mixture a little bit of dill I don't know why I feel like it just sounds really good the recipe that I found online for this she added pickles to her egg salad but I really did not want to do that I don't know why I just wasn't into it but I did think that dill sounded good on it I love 
dill and I don't put it on enough stuff. I bought this a long time ago to make tzatziki and I haven't used it since, but it's so good. Yeah, there's everything you need besides toast, avocado, and one egg. It looks like the water is just about boiling, so I'm gonna add the egg in and I'm gonna make it more hard boiled. It doesn't have to be a soft boil, so I'll probably leave it in the boiling water for like eight to 10 minutes. Normally I do like six to seven if I want it a soft boil, but since I want it a hard boil, we'll leave it in there for the eight to 10. Guys, oh my goodness, how good does this toast look? So originally, I was gonna mash like the avocado and the egg, like mixing it together all mashed up, but then I decided to keep it in pieces. So it's just like small pieces cut up of avocado, small pieces cut up of egg mixed with mayo, hot sauce, the seasonings I showed you guys, and then I topped it off with more dill, parsley, and a little bit of red pepper flakes. And I feel like it looks so good. It smells really different than like anything I normally make for breakfast with avocado smells like. I'm also having a drink on the side since it's not morning anymore. I don't really need a coffee, but I recently got these at Trader Joe's. See, these are sparkling tropical lemonades. It's 80 calories. Guys, these are so good. This is my first time trying it. I'm obsessed, absolutely delicious. So I'm gonna have my first meal and I'll talk to you guys in a little bit when it's time to have lunch. It's a little while later, it's so dark in my apartment. I also think there's a smudge on my glasses. I'm gonna clean them in a second, but I think a storm is passing through. It's super dark outside, even though it's like the middle of the day still, like it shouldn't be dark yet, but it is. Honestly, I can't complain though, it's totally a vibe. I have my fall candles lit. I just feel really good, but we're gonna make lunch. It's gonna be so simple because like I said, I started eating later in the day, so I'm not like super hungry yet, but I do still wanna have something before dinner because I'm probably not gonna eat dinner until like seven or eight-ish. Doing something different than I've ever done before. I believe this recipe is gonna be vegan. Let me see, we have arugula, a can of chickpeas, lemon, olive oil. Okay, I'm adding Parmesan cheese and honey, so it's not vegan, but it is vegetarian. And then also some red onion and probably a couple cherry tomatoes as well. Been years since I roasted chickpeas and I kind of forget what they taste like and I also feel like I cook a little bit better than I did a couple years ago so I'm excited to see how it all turns out. I just looked up how to do it to make sure I do it exactly right but I am preheating the oven right now to 350. I have the pan outs that we're going to use. I am going to line it with parchment paper though just to make the cleanup extra easy. But yeah while the oven preheats let me gather all the ingredients and show you guys everything together and then we'll get started. It should be really easy though. I'm pretty sure all we have to do is just pop these chickpeas in the oven and let them roast. Guys I'm currently watching watching the show, what is it called? Makeup or something? Something about makeup. I'm watching this competition show. I've watched all the other seasons so far and I just saw that they came out with another one. So I've been watching this while I prep everything. But this is an overview of the ingredients. There's really not that much that goes into it. Like when you take the seasonings out of this, there isn't that much going on here. I was gonna do 
cherry tomatoes, but I decided against it because I'm gonna have them in my salad for dinner tonight. So I figured I would just do red onion. I'm keeping it super simple, if you guys couldn't tell. The base of the salad is gonna be arugula. I love arugula, but feel free to substitute it out for you know whatever you enjoy most. I would say besides like traditional romaine lettuce, arugula is my number two. And then like I said, I am gonna finally chop up some red onion to add to the base of the salad. I have the garbanzo beans or chickpeas right here. I opted for the no salt added ones because I didn't realize that cans of chickpeas have like so much sodium in them. Plus I'm gonna season them anyway, so you really don't don't need salt added. As for the seasonings on these, I'm trying something new. I recently purchased this in a recent vlog. You guys saw rotisserie chicken seasoning. We're gonna add that to the chickpeas as well as a little bit of Tony's no salt added and see how that tastes. Hopefully I like that seasoning. I'm also gonna add some parm to the salad. Then for the dressing, I'm gonna do something a little bit different. I'm gonna make my own with some lemon juice, a little bit of olive oil, some honey and salt and pepper. So we'll see how this tastes. I don't know, I just have been seeing so many people post like roasted chickpeas recently and they look delicious and they're really high in protein so hopefully this goes well i think the oven is preheated at this point so i'm going to start by draining the chickpeas and washing them out a bunch and trying to get as much of the skin off of them as i can really annoying to take them all off individually but i'm going to try and do it as much as i can later no i'm just kidding it took probably like i don't know maybe 20 to 25 minutes you guys but my perfectionism tendencies were tested um it was really pissing me off how some of the chickpeas had skin on them and then some of them didn't it was really just getting to me so i sat here and individually removed the skin from every single one i honestly from what i know about chickpeas you can have it with the skin on or with the skin off, it's kind of like a preference thing. I tried some hacks that I've seen before, people saying how to remove the skin easily, and they weren't working, so I just did it individually by hand. From what I know, you can eat them with the skin on. I just, it was really bugging me that some of them had it on, some of them didn't, so I made them all perfect. And now we're going to season them up and pop them in the oven. I'm not sure for how long, though. I need to look that up. I'll keep you guys posted on that. But yeah, I did just want to show off my work. Look at that. y'all updated the chickpeas are in there but they need to be in there for 45 minutes i didn't think this through clearly but they're in there now it's okay i'm in no rush you guys know i'm not like starving or anything but if you are making this when you're very hungry they do take 45 minutes in the oven so think it through but anyways i am gonna have some green juice in the meantime or not green juice greens in the meantime and i thought i would mention to you guys that i'm trying out or i've been using a new greens you guys know i love the bloom 
greens in mixed no what is it citrus it's really really good um, but I started using this ghost one because I ran out of the bloom greens and this is really good too this is in the flavor if you can see it right there guava berry the bloom greens have more of like a greens taste to them but it's not bad like it doesn't taste gross at all it just tastes like slightly more so like greens and if you can't handle that this one tastes like actual juice very like different tasting but it doesn't taste anything remotely like greens i don't know how they did it honestly i can't really tell the effects um differences between the bloom one and this one yet but the taste taste wise they are very good the packaging is also so cute the chickpeas are done they're right over there i snacked on a couple of them and they're very good so the only thing left that we really have to do slice up some onion and make the dressing but yeah we're in the home stretch i'm actually getting a little bit hungry right now so i'm happy that they are done i left them in there for exactly 45 minutes and every 15 minutes, I kind of just shook them up a little bit to make sure they cooked evenly. delicious the chickpeas almost started to smell like chicken to me in the dressing i did add a little bit of balsamic vinegar too as well just plain balsamic vinegar i don't know i was feeling it. honey lemon olive oil and balsamic vinegar and salt and pepper mixed together i don't know if that's supposed to go together but it tasted pretty good i taste tested it mm -hmm, mm -hmm. honestly this may not look like much but it's exactly what i wanted it's like fresh and light and the perfect thing to have before dinner because i am going to have like a heavier dinner with chicken and potatoes so i wanted something that wasn't going to make me feel super tired and stuff and this is delicious and i love the dressing so i'm gonna eat the rest of this in my office and i will talk to you guys in a little bit when it's time for dinner hi everyone good evening my cats of course are being bad right when i start to record so it's time for dinner not gonna lie, I had a little bit of a sad girl Sunday and I was crying and time got the best of me. Honestly, I don't even know what I was sad about. I was like watching a Netflix documentary and that made me sad. And then I just started crying and I let it all out. <laughs> but time did get the best of me and it's now pretty late. So I need to get started on dinner because I don't like to eat super late, but I did start off today eating super late in the day. So it kind of evens out, I guess. Oh, no. No, girl, you have been quiet all day and now you just want to talk, 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 talk. Also, before I get any comments about it, she is spayed. She just does this randomly. Not even randomly, every time I film. Yeah, I have my pajamas back on that I wore this morning. I got these at Target recently. If you watch my vlog channel, you already know. I am obsessed with these. They are so soft. I literally look forward to putting them on every single night. This is the talker right there. Scar. Don't get started, okay? Let me just film these clips and then we'll be good. So here's everything you're gonna need for this. I got the inspo off of Pinterest. If I can find the picture, I'll insert it here, but I didn't save it, so it might be a little bit difficult to find. The only real difference in this recipe for me is that I don't have a grill. The chicken in the photo was grilled and it looked so fire. You guys, I searched high and low for a grill pan to be able to get grill marks on some chicken, but I couldn't find one that was under $80 and I just didn't need one that bad. We're just gonna make chicken like the regular way. I can't decide if I want to bake it 
or if I want to just do it in the air fryer and be basic. BD on that, but let's just go through the ingredients. We have some spring mix, also some light vinaigrette, a lemon, Greek yogurt, which I'm going to use in the mashed potatoes. So we have two Yukon gold potatoes right here, some Parmesan cheese that I'm going to add to the side salad, chicken breast. I'm also going to do half a slice of sourdough bread, which I know doesn't really make sense with the potatoes already as carbs, but... I have so much bread to go through, as you can see here. And if I don't start adding it to random recipes, I will never finish it. So I'm gonna just have a side of bread and I'm already forgetting things. The only other thing is cherry tomatoes that I'm gonna add a couple of those to the side salad as well. So yeah, just a simple side salad, half a slice of sourdough bread, grilled chicken, even though I'm not gonna grill it, and mashed potatoes. I am gonna start by cutting up the potatoes and then we'll move on to the chicken. If you guys have been watching my videos for a long time, then you already know how I like to make my mashed potatoes and then also just like regular roasted potatoes. I don't normally peel roasted potatoes, but for mashed potatoes, I like to peel them. I know some people like to keep the skin on, but I personally like to peel them. I always grew up with my mom <laughs> peeling potatoes. And what I do is I fill a pot up with water, I add a little bit of salt to it, and then I add the potatoes in and then I turn on the heat. So yeah, you're gonna be adding the potatoes into cold water instead of warm. Once it starts to boil, let them um, cook through for like, essentially just until they're fork tender and you should be good. So as you guys saw, I cut up some cherry tomatoes to add to the side salad, and then I also saved half of a lemon because I'm gonna add the juice to the side salad with a little bit of the vinaigrette, just that way it can be like more dressing, but not actually adding more dressing, if that makes sense. And I added half of the lemon juice into the chicken. I'm keeping the chicken really simple. I wanted like a very fresh, chicken so i did half of lemon juice which is kind of a lot lemon was very juicy so there's a lot of lemon juice in here i'm just kind of letting the chicken soak it up for a second and then as for the seasonings i did literally the simplest stuff ever garlic powder and the mccormick lemon and pepper officially boiling big time so they probably only have like six or seven minutes left around there one thing i will say is since we're just doing greek yogurt and not like sour cream and a ton of butter into the mashed potatoes save a little bit of this potato water greek yogurt is really thick so if you just add just that to the potatoes they're gonna be almost like a play-doh consistency and we want like creamy mashed potato consistency so save a little bit of this water you might not use all of it i would say like save i don't know like half a cup probably won't use all of it but it's just good to have in case you do need it i don't think i mentioned this but i am going to be cooking the chicken just on the stove top i do not feel like waiting for the oven to preheat
you guys dinner is served oh my goodness i think that this might just be my favorite dinner i have ever made does this not look incredible you guys i tried every component separately everything is so delicious like the salad with the vinaigrette and the lemon obviously the normal mashed potatoes are super doused in butter and sour cream and cheddar cheese and all these things i did add just salt pepper garlic powder greek yogurt as you guys know and then what was the last thing i added oh a little bit of parmesan cheese just a little bit to give it that traditional um, mashed potato taste the chicken is just perfection it's so zesty and delicious but this is actually going to conclude my what i eat in a day so hopefully you guys liked these recipes today was a really good day and i feel like a really balanced day like nothing too restrictive and nothing too crazy like they were just really good meals they're also just good for you and balanced and that is what i'm all about we all want to strive for longevity and consistency and having meals like this that satisfy your cravings but aren't too extreme is what's going to get you to achieve as much consistency as possible i literally got sweaty from cooking because it got so hot in here so i had to turn on the ac but i'm gonna go don't forget to subscribe thumbs up this video follow me on instagram tiktok all that good stuff check out my cookbook if you guys are interested in that as well i love you guys so much and i will talk to you in my next video very soon bye